New tonight, a UW student is sharing his story after a tree came crashing down on his car while he was driving home. This all happened on Tuesday evening near the intersection of 35th Avenue and 100th, just as the winds in our area was really starting to pick up. King 5's Bridget Chavez has the details. I can't even believe I walked away from that. And without a scratch. In fact, these are the same glasses I was wearing. Tyson Ramirez was driving home Tuesday night when this tree was uprooted and fell right on top of his car. I kind of just slumped back in my chair or my in my seat a little bit, bracing for impact. And sure enough, the tree crashes. I tried to open my driver's side door. No use. The tree was totally horizontal on my car, pinning both the driver's side and the passenger side door. And I was stuck. Ramirez says bystanders came over to check on him and called 911. One of them even took photos for him while they waited for help to arrive. She said, well, do you want me to take your picture? Because in her reasoning, she said, well, you might never you might never get to see this angle again. So at first it threw me off, but then she was right. It was really a lot of shock, a lot of shock, but also even in the moment, even as I was trapped, a bit of gratefulness. Ramirez says he was pinned in the car for about 90 minutes before firefighters were able to get him to safety where his parents were waiting. And once I was pulled out, well, I gave them the tightest hug. I was so thankful to go home that night. His mom, grateful her son walked away unscathed. I like happy endings. Heck, everybody was okay. A giant hole in crime tape have replaced the giant tree that fell on Ramirez's car. He says he still can't believe it happened. You see it in TV shows, you see it in movies, but you never expect this to happen in real life. Calling it nothing short of a miracle. Whether it be angels, whether it be God, the amazing firefighters at Squad 31, it was I was really blessed that night. In Seattle, Bridget Chavez, King 5 News.